Hello, David. Hello. Sorry about the background noise. My dog is going crazy. No worries. I, I actually can't hear it at the moment, so that's good. Oh, you can't talk. That's good. No. Hey, Shivin. Hey, uh, Yi or Shiwei, do you know if Ben Ben's going to join us? Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, Shiwei or Yi, do you know if Ben Ben's going to join us? Did you hear what I had to say? Can anybody hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, David. I can okay. hear you. Okay. She uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yes, I, I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just curious if uh, we, if, if Ben Ben's going to join. If not, I think we should try and invite him at least to, you know, at least for the parts that um, of the refactoring that are re relevant. Did, did somebody invite Ben Ben or no? Uh, just let me check the meeting invitation. Uh, no, I don't think he's invited. Okay. Uh, but since uh, uh, Bing Bing is uh, uh, local, uh, so uh, we, we can update him later after this meeting. Okay, I, I think we, we have a cash from Rat by T. Yeah. So this is the agenda. Um, what I'm seeing is, uh, I just, uh, sorry, I just pasted here in the chat itself. So any open discussions for refactoring notation based on the comments uh, that, uh, that has been exchanged on GitHub? Um, Rakesh and Shiva, do you want to take that up first? And we can go over the rest after that. Uh, yeah, I reviewed the changes. Um, they look good to me. Mostly, there, I think there is one thing we need to close on. Uh, that is the verifier interface um, with the verify. Um, yeah, method that uh, supports both the uh, prefetched signatures as well as remote signatures. I posted a couple of comments. I don't think I got any response. Um, who is going to respond or are we going to discuss them here in this meeting? Uh I think uh, maybe I can share the screen. Uh, actually, uh, we did several round of offline review. I also asked the Pritesh to actually provide the comments and we replied to his comments, but still some new comments uh, not addressed yet. I think mainly due to the time difference. So how about I share that page and we walk through firstly what the Rakesh uh, highlights that uh, verify interface. Then we can uh, uh, go through other uh, issues not resolved to see whether we, we uh, if it is the big, uh, then we can discuss here. If, if it is a minor, then we can address it offline. Yeah, I had a chat with Pritesh. Um, um, most of his comments are minor. He, he also had some concerns on the verifier interface, okay. uh, but if we can cover that in this meeting, I think uh, we are good. Um, the okay. rest of the minor things can be um, um, addressed in the um, uh, PR reviews. Okay, great. 
So let's uh, jump directly to the, I think it's a package replication, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me, okay, here. So maybe we can start here. I will zoom in a bit. Uh, we also there have be, Patrick. There should be a comment thread with 10 comments uh, in it. Can you open that one? Uh, sorry, wait, which one? Um, there's uh, a comment the, with in the notation, comments. in the notation uh, package, package notation. Yeah. Hmm. There is that 10, 10, number 10, yeah. Okay, if you scroll down all the way, um, I added a gist link there. Uh, can you open that one? Yep. So in the current proposal, there are two verify methods. One is in the, one is in verifier dot verify and the other one is notation dot verify these two are um, providing support for two different use cases prefetched signatures and um, remote signatures i think uh, that will create some confusion to the notation go consumers um, so uh, it, i created this alternative uh, proposal where um, there is only verifier uh, interface that supports verify and verify signature and uh, provides uh, those two use cases. I added some examples here as well. Um, can you take um, probably a couple of minutes to read this and then we can discuss? Uh, I see from the interface, the verify interface uh, has two methods. One is called verify and another is verify signature. So basically uh, a verifier should both implement how it interacted with the ripple and also how it interacted with the uh, individual signature. Uh, so basically uh, this interface uh, still couples the uh, repository with the verify uh, verify uh, uh, workflow. So the original design idea is to decouple them. Uh, is this verifier going to be um, implemented by anyone else other outside notation go? No, right. Uh, what's the issue with um, coupling these two? So, uh, 
uh, I don't think it's good to couple uh, to couple this, uh, them. Um, yes, for now, uh, 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 no one uh, will implement that uh, 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 except us, but maybe in the future or maybe in other things. So it's about extensibility. Um, is there any other way we can achieve this? I'm open for suggestions here. Uh, the current proposal in the HackMD document that uh, proposes verify method in different packages, uh, which is what we think can create confusion for our customers, uh, our users. Uh, so if there is a third uh, proposal um, uh, that um, gets the best of both worlds, then uh, we can consider that. Does it make sense? So what's the concern? Are you, the concern on your side is confusion with the proposed yeah. design from Shiwei's team. What kind of, can you elaborate more on what confusion you're talking about? Uh, so in the current proposal, there is verify method. Um, that verify method is in verifier object, uh, which, is, which is coming from verifier package. And there is also other verify method, um, which is for remote signatures, which is coming from notation package. Uh, since Golang documentation shows per package uh, documentation. These are two different places. Um, so customer, uh, the users may find it difficult to um, understand what is for what and um, identifying these. Uh, they're actually not in uh, two packages. Once you have created a new verifier, uh, the verifier, uh, I mean, the verify.verify implements the notation.verifier. So, uh, they are all in the same package called no, uh, package notation. So they are all working in the same work, uh, same uh, package. So basically uh, you are passing the verify in the package notation to the uh, verify function of the package notation. So they are in the same package. Uh, so the Golang documentation uh, would show the verify method only at one place. Is that, um... Um, yes, we yeah. are going to only have one verifier, uh, which is in the notation package. There's only one verifier. Uh, yeah, I, I, I understand that there is only one verifier. Uh, I'm talking about verify methods. Um, so there are two, right? One for prefetched signatures and one for remote signatures. Uh, are these going to be in the same package? Yes, and both of, both of them are going to be in the uh, notation package. OK, OK. In that case, I don't have any concerns then. Uh, my understanding was that these are in two different packages. Uh, that was the main um, um, concern there. But um, if you say they are in the same package, then um, I don't have any more concerns. Cool. Uh, the second thing is I, I've, I've noticed that uh, the, uh, the verify function uh, returns a, a verification outcome. Uh, so, but this outcome is not used in your examples. Um, so can you explain a bit more on that? Uh, yeah, the verification outcome uh, um, um, can be used for used by curious customers, right? If they want to um, uh, inspect more about the signature or what happened with the individual uh, validation steps, uh, they can make use of it. Um, in the examples, I did not call out, but uh, um, it, it will be useful for some customers and also the integrators of the notation Go library so that they can have more 
tighter integration tests um, uh, they don't they don't need to just depend on the uh, true or false outcome right whether there is an error or not but um, they can also look at the outcome and um, uh, assert that individual fields of the outcome are uh, what they are expecting and uh, uh, can you uh, uh, can you define that uh, outcome uh, structure uh, because uh, uh, actually uh, the customers not only interested in the uh, uh, in the uh, true or false written by the verifier uh, because our signatures are actually sign a clear sign so it has payload and other things so I think the the customer are more interested in the signed payload. So basically, the signed uh, descriptor. Uh, I disagree there uh, because um, we have more details in the verification outcome, like um, for um, different validation types, uh, what happened. Uh, for example, there can be three results uh, to a validation, like um, um, success, failure, and inconclusive. All these details are present. And depending on the trust policy, the interpretation of those results change in the overall um, decision whether a signature is valid or not. So there are a bunch of things uh, coming in the verification uh, outcome. Those all are uh, going to be useful for customers. Uh, yes, uh, I just want. Uh, yeah, I just want a definition of the outcome uh, in your proposal. I think it is an existing uh, structure, right? Uh, yeah, in my proposal, I'm using the existing one. It's not a new one. Okay, uh, if, it, you, you, if it's the uh, current one, uh, it does not contain the, the, the sign, the descriptor, right? I so, think it is part of envelope content. Uh, if it is not, we, we should be adding. I, I yeah. agree, the descriptor will be useful. Yeah, if it's uh, part of I'm of content, but uh, in the interface we don't return it, so the customer cannot uh, uh, cannot get the information from the envelope of content. Yeah, sorry, the proposal is can you, can... that, right? Pardon? Uh, the proposal is to return the signature verification outcome so that. Uh, users have access to the descriptor as well as the verification results. Um, actually, I don't see, I don't, I don't find the descriptor in the, in the current uh, verification outcome structure. Uh, can you, like, where, where is it? Uh, should be envelope. the envelope content. Uh, if it is not, we should add it. Uh, I could say envelope content contains uh, center info and payload. Patrick, are you looking for the comment section? I don't think it's in the comment section, right? Is it in the comment section? For uh, the descriptor? No, I, I, I'm not very sure. Um, so question is, if, if, if I want to, um, after a verification, if I want to get the digest of the signature, uh, will signature verification outcome provide uh, that? 
the information? Uh, probably uh, looks like it is not. Uh, that's is what not, I was right? saying. Yeah. Probably we we need to add that. Okay, so uh, the uh, our proposal is um, we are returning that descriptor. That's mm -hmm. including the digest in it, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so are you going to say that we are returning uh, like both of the uh, the descriptor and the signature verification outcome, or we only return the signature ver verification outcome, but adding the descriptor information into it? Uh, Which I one? think it, uh, it would be cleaner to add the descriptor to the outcome, right? So that um, the users are only dealing with two return values rather than three. Uh, but uh, yeah, but, but as, any... as, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, as, as, as Shivi just mentioned, I think uh, a user will be more interesting in the uh, descriptor, the, the, the sign uh, descriptor, uh, instead of the, the, the most of those uh, details of the outcome. Uh, so as I was saying, <laughs> it will be useful for, uh, for some segment of users. It may not mm -hmm. be useful for everyone, uh, but uh -huh. that doesn't mean that we should not include it. Shri, do you have more uh, comments on this? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you can scroll a bit down. Uh, so actually, there's another proposal here. So it's uh, uh, there's a um a proposal called detailed verifier. It verifies details. So the this function, uh, uh, the difference between this function and the verify is that it returns the full uh, outcome. I mean, the verification outcome, I think so. Uh, if it's not, we can change it to the full outcome. Um, yes, the verification outcome. So- uh, What's the concern with uh, returning the outcome in the- current verifier. I would yeah, like to understand the contents there first before we go to yeah. detailed verifier. Yeah, uh, the thing is, um, um, uh, there are two concerns. Uh, one is, uh, in the most scenario, uh, customer does not, um, uh, customers does not care about the, the detailed outcome. They just, may, they just want to know the, uh, the verified descriptor and also it's true or false uh, basically it's past the verification or not and uh, yeah that's the uh, first comment on this one um, because it's more time uh, they just ignore the outcome right mm -hmm. uh, yeah the same thing is that uh, about the uh, extensibility um, so um maybe in the future um but it's maybe in the future um we, we may have different policies of the uh, uh, the verification so uh here we have the trust store trust policy but maybe in the future we we have other things but uh it's just about it's available because we cannot have a new uh, verify uh, i mean verification workflow without a spec so um, it's still uh, arguable. Mm. Uh, I, I did not get the comment on the um, extensibility aspect. Like um, how currently the verification outcome has no trust store or trust policy elements, right? Um, how is returning the outcome going to make it not extensible? Uh, 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 the current outcome is uh, tied with the trust policy. So it basically uh, it says the each validation of trust policy uh, has some kind of uh, output. Um, yeah. Uh, it actually, it, 
it is not tied to the trust policy it is tied to the validation types uh, uh, in any verification there will be some set of validations we are going to be doing right um, even if there is a new type of uh, trust policy or trust or in the future uh, we will be doing with validations on that and the val uh, the verification outcome we are talking about it is returning the validations and their results so i don't see anything tied to the trust trust store or trust policy um actually there is also the verification action right it's 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 defined in the trust policy in the verification result there's also verification action which is defined in the trust policy uh, that is just code code organization there is nothing to do with the policy okay um so uh, let's do this so uh how about in this iteration uh that's the first iteration uh we uh we add the the uh the verification outcome in the uh in the return value of the verify function of the verify interface so maybe later uh in rc1 when we release rc1 we if someone is uh, integrating notation saying that it's not that useful, uh, we can maybe remove it in the RC2. But if we see there's a scenario, a real scenario, then we can keep it. Uh, how about that? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by real scenarios. Um, uh, we are planning to have integration tests around notation go so that it works with our plugin. Uh, we will be using this outcome. It can't be removed um, after RC1. Yes, uh, I'm just saying a uh, saying that we we first add it, and uh, if it's really useful, then we keep it. Uh, but if not, then we may need to kind of reconsider uh, about the interface. Uh, I think that's all the comments. Um, I think there are a couple of renaming ones. Those are very minor. We can deal with them in the um, code reviews. Uh, but I think um, with the changes we discussed uh, in this meeting, I think we are good with the proposal. Uh, sorry, uh, one comment. As just uh, we discussed about this outcome, we still uh, we'll add this digest right into the outcome, right? So did yes, I miss this part? Fine. Yeah. So that the, should be added. Yep. So, sorry, Rakesh. Yeah, the descriptor will be added to the outcome. Okay. So this will be part of the outcome structure. Okay, uh, Shui, uh, does this um, make sense or is this aligned with, with your? Um, I'm thinking uh, because it may introduce uh, uh, import cycle. Mm. So basically, the packet notation imports the trust policy. But if we put the descriptor into the trust uh, into outcome that means uh, the trust policy package or input uh, package notation so we have an input cycle Uh, Rakesh, uh, um, uh, sorry, can you repeat your comment? So, uh, okay. So I think it's, uh, uh, I think there's a problem that is uh, if we put the descriptor into the uh, outcome, uh, the, uh, the, verific the verification outcome is, is in the package trust policy, right? And uh, 
uh, the descriptor is in the package uh, uh, package notation. That means uh, the trust the trust the trust policy package will import the uh, package notation, and the, the package notation will import the package trust policy. So we got a import cycle. Uh, how do we resolve that? Can we move the outcome uh, structure to notation? Uh, it doesn't have to be in trust policy. Uh, but okay, so the outcome references levels and other things that are in the trust policy. So basically, we are moving all all the types from the trust policy to the notation package. So if you can scrolling down to the uh, verification outcome uh, structure, uh, you will see, uh, you can, as you can see, there are ver verification level and the verification results. So in order to define this structure, uh, you need also the verification level and the verification results. And to, uh, to define the verification level, you need the, all the uh, verification type and uh, verification action stuff. So basically all the types in the trust policy. In notation, right? Not trust policy. Yeah, so basically if we want to do that, then we need to move all the uh, trust policies types to the package notation. I don't see any problems with that. So, uh, I, uh, so I don't think uh, putting the, uh, the notation descriptor into the verification outcome is a good idea. So um, maybe the original one that says uh, in a separate uh, return value, it would be okay, it's better. So basically it returns a uh, descriptor, a, a set of uh, signature verification outcome and then an error. Um, yeah, I think that works too. Um, I haven't seen uh, functions, functions that return too many values. Um, also, I'm not a, a Golang pro, so uh, don't take uh, my suggestion here. But uh, if that is better than moving the um, moving the structures to notation, uh, I don't have any concerns with that. Okay, so the conclusion is that uh, the uh, the outcome structure will still be in the uh, trust policy, uh, but the uh, the verify function in the verify interface will return not only the descriptor but also the uh, the verification outcome. Uh, uh, actually, uh, well, one more thing about the uh, the the uh, the verification outcome structure. So you can scrolling down to the the, the verification. Uh, that's going down. So uh, these two um, uh, these two structures will be exposed. Uh, so it won't be internal structures. And there's a, uh, a result, uh, there's a, a structure called the verification results. So uh, I think that there's a field called success and error, right? Um, so I think those um, uh, those fields are duplicated. Uh, so when success is true, the error must be new, right? And the success is false, then the, I think the error must be non-new. Uh, I remember, um, uh, I think there is a reason we went uh, 
with this approach um i need to look at the pr uh, but i think it is to distinguish the third outcome uh, which is inconclusive um, um so there can be a verification success verification failure and then verification inconclusive right um i think i believe that's the reason for going with these two fields um but um we can take a look at that pr and um, yeah so can you comment yeah can you just comment it because to me it's it's weird that is if you have a success but if you have success with errors or you fail the verification but there's no errors <laughs> Okay, uh, I think the calculator can add a comment for this. We can do that offline. I mean, uh, Patrick, do you have any comments on the overall, uh, uh, on the uh, uh, overall verifier and uh, the verify functions? Uh, I don't have any uh, further questions right now. Uh, I'll, I'll update the uh, the the markdown after this meeting. Okay. okay. Uh, please, Vani, you can begin. Yeah. So the next uh, topic that we wanted to discuss is the the work that is actually the ratify is dependent on as part of this refactoring. So Shibe and Rakesh, a question for you guys is um, as part of the refactoring work that we have in notation Go so that Ratify can take the dependency and start over the work on the trust or trust policy itself. So how much of work is that? And uh, when do we start that work? And when do we think we can complete that work based on the priority on the refactoring itself? Uh, do we need just the verified changes for uh, unblocking ratify? That's my understanding. Uh, hey, uh, Patrick, or anyone who understands that better can just pitch in here. The understanding was it is just the verifier part of it that needs to be refactored for ratifies dependency. Hi, uh, this is Akash. I'm from the Ratify project. Um, okay. So, yeah, so yeah, for us to proceed forward, the main blocker is the, the verify function. So if we can get the, the offline scenario um, working in some sort, uh, we can proceed on our side and uh, begin the migration. Um, I see that, um, so Binbin Bin on the Ratify side has been scoping out what we'll have to do. So. Um, mm -hmm. I don't I don't think he's on the call yet, but there's two approaches that we can take. One is the signature, the function signature changes that you're uh, proposing. I think that is going to go into RC1 and not beta one. Um, so in the meantime, we could do some extra work to set up a local repository. Um, and I, I think that's what the community here had suggested. But there's hesitation on our side because we would quickly switch to RC1. So we don't want to kind of do the throwaway work if we can get this prioritized and we can just use this um, with the, the signature bytes array instead. So uh, would be would be very curious to hear what the timeline is for that. Yeah, exactly. That's why we are here, um, Akash. The second option is what I think in yesterday's ratify call, Sajay also mentioned that along with David. So that's where uh, I just wanted to make sure what is that work and what's how many, what's the estimate around that? Uh, yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't think we can provide an estimate at this time. We're still in the 
the scoping out stage, but. Oh, no, not from ratify. I'm just talking about from the refactoring. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, Patrick, Shive, or Rakesh, uh, what's that effort looks like? At a high level, it looks like a couple of days, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think uh, you can answer that. Uh, yeah, but uh, firstly, I want to make sure it is this uh, issue I showed on the screen that we needed to solve in RC1, right? It is the only in this issue for ratify. Uh, if this is confirmed, then this is definitely covered by the refactoring work. And we also did an estimation. Let me find uh, this one. It's actually also include some, uh, include a proposal to uh, to provide a new date for RC1 release. Uh, back to the refactoring work, we did uh, estimation cost estimations for purely refactoring. So the cost for refactoring the notation go library, the implementation work will take two weeks with the new uh, uh, UT test enabled. So it's uh, two weeks implementation, but uh, uh, we didn't count this PR review lead time yet. So if we uh, can have a very active PR review, like what we did the last time uh, in the late uh, uh, October for, for the COSA PRs, maybe we can have uh, a good uh, progress for the refactoring. And after refactoring, there are some adaption needed by notation CLI. So it will take uh, roughly one week to complete this uh, adaption work. So since this item depends on the notation Go library refactoring, and it take additional one week, so uh, we have three weeks here. Then the uh, delivery time will be November, around November 22. But we also uh, have some good parts. We saved some costs, for example, for the debug option to enable this. Previously, we estimated two weeks. Now it uh, we only need uh, this is roughly two days. Still, the PR review not uh, considered here, uh, and we and and also this issue I just mentioned previously we estimated one week, but now we we don't need to any additional effort. It will be. Uh, totally covered by the refactory. And we also, last time we discussed to drop the support for the system directory, and this will be also covered by refactoring. So there's no cost needed for this one as well. So these three issues are, are listed uh, in the RC1 milestone. So after refactory, we can save, uh, save uh, some costs. And also we with this refactoring, we fix the some issues. Uh, we find that the sign workflow is not fully compliant with the spec. This will be also covered by the refactoring. Currently, there's uh, there's no bug reported, but we found since we found it, so we will fix it directly. Uh, and as you know that we have some other issues, right? The OCI artifact support, this will be uh, although it is the integration work with ORAS, but still we will consider it with uh, the refactory. Uh, so the OCI artifact support should be uh, uh, support after the refactoring as well. Uh, and we have this user story. So this basically UX improvement. Uh, so there will be the output of sign and verify will be improved. Uh, and also considering the debug option enable or disables, uh, I already did some proposals. I will soon create PRs. So once that PR uh, uh, merged, then we need some uh, work 
uh, to do on the notation CLI side. Uh, but of course, uh, the deep, since the debug option is enabled, so some some output message may need the uh, support from the notation Go library. That will also be covered by the refactoring as well. So roughly three weeks for this. Uh, we have some other issues. We think considering uh, we uh, considering the priority, we, we think they are not. Uh, uh, mandatory for RC1 release. So this is just the proposal we, we can decide. It is not a decision yet. So we can uh, work through other RC1 issues to to only consider the high priority issue for, for the RC1. So with this, uh, the new date for the RC1 proposal is uh, basically end of uh, November. And if we want to uh, understand the real, real cost for the refactoring, the implementation work, the two weeks, uh, not uh, considering this PI review. Um, we, we can discuss, this is just a proposal, may, maybe too much information. We, we just did this uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, this is a great uh, input actually. Um, uh, my question would be if it is november 28th right will ratify align with that date as well for the trust or trust policy if we prioritize the notation work uh, for ratify and if we can knock it out first and if we can see how we can uh, divide the work and see how we can reduce this time frame as well, right? For the refactoring, is every refactoring important for RC1, or is it like we can do a phased approach that is must to go for RC1, and some of it may go for RC2 post RC1? So something to look there as well. So uh, my question is: uh, so if we can prioritize notation go for ratify what's what's that looks like uh, back to my point to what that looks like uh, I have one comment uh, so firstly if we because ratify will consume notation go library right so for the CRI part work ratify uh, doesn't consume that so the ma major work is on the notation go refactoring. So but not I think, all of uh, it, right? We don't uh, need all of it. But I'm not sure whether the uh, from implementation point of view, I'm not sure whether that's uh, uh, the different structure interface. Uh, I'm not a professional on that part. I, I think that needs uh, Shui and the request to answer. But uh, from library point of view, uh, the current uh, lead time is at least uh, two weeks for the notation go to enable uh, the ratify support. And I also want to make sure it is this issue because uh, you mentioned the trust policy, trust store. Uh, I'm not sure that part will be solved by this by this issue. This issue is only solved the verify local signatures not uh, connected to the trust policy trust store that, that's right um hey Sajin. Hey, um i had a question I, th I think i'm what i'm understanding is uh is the full refactoring one issue or are there sub issues in refactoring and can we prioritize the the uh uh the repository interface refactoring first i think that's what is being asked yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shivay, Rakesh, anyone can answer uh, that? There are, uh, uh, so there are many points. Uh, first of all, uh, because the ratify only use the verification flow, so that means uh, uh, so uh, ratify does not use the the signer uh, package. So basically, we can prioritize other packages uh, factoring uh, and then the signer package. 
uh, that's fine and uh, it's it's workable okay uh, yeah uh, but the other thing is that we cannot uh, release rc1 uh, for notation go if we don't uh, if we don't reflect uh, the signer package because uh, for rc versions uh, we expect that all the apis are stable the we won't have breaking changes or a lot of breaking changes. Uh, so that means we need to finish the uh, refactoring for the package sign up before the RC1. Uh, so the question uh, goes to the Radical project. Can the Radical project consume a non tagged uh, version? I should okay taking from me. Yeah, we can. We've, we've done it before with ORS too. So okay. yeah. So as soon as this uh, one specific issue using Verify with a, without a repository, as soon as that is finished and merged with some testing, we can probably take from main, right? Uh, yes, but there are minor settings. There'd be a dependence, hard dependency on the trust store or trust policy as well for it to work. So we would have to figure out um, in the first initial prototype, how we would at least pipe the information through our charts and into the Verifier. So that was. Does, does RC1 include trust policy already? Uh, yeah. Yes, I think so. I see. Okay, so let's finish the trust policy work first and then we'll consume this in the meantime, right? I think that's easy for Ratify as well. Does that sound reasonable? I know that Bin Bin's not on the call. He's the one who's actually doing the work for consuming the trust policy anyway. Yeah, I think I think that's reasonable just based off of his estimates too. So, okay. Yep. So just to kind of like uh, put this as summary, we will consume the RC one. Uh, I mean, we'll consume the trust policy work first, and uh, as soon as the verifier changes are in, we will go ahead and take from main. We don't require a release. But for Ratify to release, we assume that Notation Go is also released. Does, is that, that's kind of where we want to land. At least that's what I'm understanding. Yeah, that makes sense. So what's the... So, uh, yeah, so I want to understand that the, the release time for Ratify so that we can make sure that uh, the notation go released before that. So is this is the current plan fine for, for the ratify side? The end of November to consume a tag version for this issue? Ali, you and I can talk offline and see how to reduce the uh, based on what she may also and Rakesh and others, right, uh, can look into it, Patrick. We can see what's the scope of refactoring for RC1, because this is something that comes uh, a week before and it's a lot of work, right? It's, it's a heavy work there for RC1. So we need to see what is that a must to go for RC1 and what's a nice to have for RC1, right? So the nice to have can move to post RC1. So, uh, that is something that uh, I think uh, from the engineering uh, team, you guys have to look into that and we'll have to see what's that scope reduction that we can do in that for RC1, right? It's not like takeaway, but scope reduction for RC1. That is one thing. And for refactoring so that we can unblock Ratify, and uh, of course, Ratify team need not do any work, but they wait for this uh, refactoring thing. It's kind of high level based on what initial glance looked like is uh, two ways of work, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, uh, Shiva and Rakesh, what do you think? What is the work there? And uh, we can go from there. Uh, two days seems reasonable to me uh, just to refactor the verifier package. 
Thanks, Rakesh. Shiva, you copy that? Um, I don't think so. I think the verify package uh, depends on other package like the config and uh, uh, other things. Um, so if just the interface, it's okay. But if it's in implementation, it depends on other packages, packages like the DIR package and also the config package. And also because it relies on some plugins, so it also relies on the plugin package. So it's not just the verify, uh, a verify package. It depends on other three packages at least. So just put a safe, safe, safe count on this. I, I mean, I don't want to kind of like force anything and uh, cut so many corners that it becomes like we have to take new, new things. And also you want some test coverage on the refactoring, right? So it's okay to stage it. And while the folks on the ratify side implement the trust policy, this can come in. So even if you take a week or a week and a half to kind of get this through, that might be reasonable as well. Uh, yeah, there is no, uh, yeah, no cutting corners anywhere. We have to do it stable way. Obviously, the whole point is to everything to come together and work together stably, right? So, so what is what? What do you think? What's how much of the time it takes to do? Uh, so as you can see in the uh, in the presentation by uh, E, uh, two mm -hmm. weeks with UT, that's a unit test. So we have to ensure the quality. Uh, of course, we can remove all the unit tests and the refactor quickly, but it's not good for us. I, I, I think it's okay. Uh, I think even roughly, Akash, you can comment, right? Like looking at bin bin's change, it'll take a week. Or maybe a week and a half before he can get done with uh, the uh, trust policy plumbing. Yeah, I would I would say at least that amount. Yeah. Uh, so this is just for the verifier package, right? Uh, can we not make the interface changes first, and then do the dependency packages? Uh, yes, yeah. so uh, we are slowly uh, refactoring the uh, packages uh, without changing other interfaces, and uh, also uh, we are maintaining the uh, the unit test. So uh, if you can go to the notation go uh, pull request page, you will see that uh, uh, Jinjie has already proposed two uh, PRs uh, for review. Uh, one is for the package uh, directory and the one is for package uh, config. Uh, so uh, they are pending review. So if you click into that, uh, it's just not only uh, reflect to the uh, directory uh, package, it also maintain the interface of others. So it won't break the, uh, the, the whole package or the uh, unit test. And because of that, uh, when you review the PRs, you may be focused on the, uh, the DIR package and, uh, uh, and the other parts are just uh, uh, to make sure that it still works on uh, other packages, but other packages will be uh, be refactored uh, later. So uh, uh, no worry for now. So Shirley, you means that uh, uh, once this PR is merged, there's no impact to uh, on other interface, right? Yeah, yes, yes, right. So the, the, that's how we reflect uh, the packages uh, slowly. There's one PR, then another PR. Yeah. So, so question is with this um, two weeks time frame, uh, uh, Sanjay and Akash will will number 28 align with ratify changes as well when notation go is completed and rc1 is 
released. Can we um can we have a can we get back to this on maybe okay. tomorrow? Like I want to talk to Toddy and make sure that everything is in yeah, line. Yeah, definitely, Sajay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But uh, because it was like the beta two release was twelve eight, right? Uh, so it's almost closer to that date. It's not like two weeks prior or something like that. So I was yeah, just I mean, thinking. Yeah, yeah, we just we might have to shuffle some things internally to make sure folks like Akash and all have time. Uh, sure. that's right. So if if things are happening sooner, then I, I I don't see that as a concern. But it's just that it's a mix of internal and external priorities. So I'll work with Tori and Akash and kind of um, make sure we communicate back. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. And uh... okay. Okay, that's that's one thing, Rakesh. Uh, the other thing is uh, we need to see. Uh, uh, e, I think you have covered all the issues from the GitHub, right, for our C one. Uh, not all the issue. Not there the documentation. Some, uh, but... uh, there are some other issues owned by 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 your side, by Pritesh and the Rakesh as well. Yeah, yeah. So, those are not covered. And there are some some more portion of issues not covered yet, but uh, I think we can work through that. Maybe some issue are not uh, mandatory for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But the okay. yeah, but the major part are covered in this day. Sure. Sure. So something uh, to talk about uh, and think about is uh, how do we also see refactoring uh, code changes? The three week there can be distributed and uh, accomplished. Something to think through. Shivay and Rakesh and Patrick. Why is it sequential? Why can't it be parallel? Is it because Shiva, you are telling after one package, you go to the next package for refactoring, hence sequential, and it's not parallel? Uh, so it's in parallel, but uh, for example, um, uh, it's better to review the um, the uh, the DR uh, before the config because the config depends on the R and also, mm -hmm. although, uh, uh, so when you are reviewing that, uh, actually uh, British, uh, not British, uh, Patrick is uh, working on other packages. We have two engineers working on it, uh, on those packages in parallel. So basically um, if we can review them fast, then we can merge it fast and the, the, the refactoring process will be faster. Definitely. Let's let's take that a step. Let's let's keep uh, I and E pretty much. We talk every day, uh, so we will make sure that the reviews go faster um, from from um, our side, so we can see how to get it uh, moving quicker. And if we need to pick some of the development as well, just let us know because that is definitely a heavy lifting here. Uh, and also, uh, Shivay, if you can look into it, if there is something that we can move out of RC1 scope and move to RC2 scope, that is something that we can come up with in tomorrow's discussion as well, if you see that. I think uh, you can just take a look at that. I don't know who all has to take a look at that, uh, Shivay, Rakesh, and Patrick. So we can check that part as well. Something to look into, right? Do you do you think that makes sense, Shivay, Patrick, and Rakesh? Or what are your thoughts? Uh, fine for me, uh, because currently after refactoring, uh, all um, all the APIs are extensible. So that means if we have to uh, delay some items in the RC1 to the RC2, it's okay because the current notation goal is extensible. Um, 
So we uh, we can extend it without uh, um, uh, breaking changes. So I think it's, it works fine for me. Well, wonderful, wonderful. So ye, yeah. uh, you, thank you, Shirley. Thank you very much. Uh, so ye, we need to consider that and then uh, maybe in your estimation, we will have a, you know, we will have another part of it. You can keep that estimate that you have done. It's great. It looks, it looks awesome actually. But on the other side, if we have to push some of it to RC2, then we can see what's the date that comes. What, we, we, how do we land there? And if there is heavy lifting on your side, we can see how we can manage the engineering work between both of us. That's the second thing to think about the distribution itself, right? So uh, if you can think through that, we can discuss about that as well in tomorrow's meeting. Uh, I think for tomorrow's meeting, I cannot join because it's uh, too early for China time. Uh, oh yeah, right, but, right. Yeah. Maybe we can, I don't know if, uh, is Sami on this call? David, yes, I'm, I'm here. Uh, Samir, is there any reason we need to have the community meeting at that point in time, or we can have the same time? I think this time is more productive than. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I think we can definitely have it at this time. Uh, there's nobody else joining, but we can still join that meeting. I can join that meeting in the morning. And if there's anybody else who drops in, we can tell them this meeting is not happening or just have the agenda for tomorrow's meeting change to reflect tomorrow's evening time. If that will help, yeah. we'll be fine. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Uh, so E, we can move the meeting to, we can all join again at the same time. Okay, this but uh, yeah, yeah, this, this time, yeah, this time frame tomorrow, we, we can continue the discussion, but this is more focus on uh, work through the RC1 issues to see whether some issues we can put to RC1, uh, RC2, right? That's right, that's right. Yeah, so owning, uh, I think owning PM uh, can join. So for the uh, Shui's team is not uh, uh, mandatory. Okay, sure. so, we can, so we can meet twice tomorrow then, right? We can meet in the morning with the PM team and meet with you all in the evening. If there is anything, Sajay, you had that internal discussion to align. Will, will we be able to get uh, uh, clarity on the ratify tomorrow or uh, this time, not in the... Yeah, um, so, so actually uh, there is an engineering lead on my side who's actually coordinating with Akash, Bin Bin and all. And sure. Uh, he was not able to attend this call. He's already on the chat and he's aware that this is happening. <laughs> so I'll follow up with him tomorrow morning and uh, kind of like at least close on the date to make sure this refactoring work is consumed in and what the alignment looks like. Perfect. Thank you very much. So uh, tomorrow at this point in time, in the same meeting, we should be able to have something, right? Right. So the goal is to kind of find out when ratify can consume and release that provided notation does the refactoring work into main right that's right that's yeah. right and when can uh, can uh, ratify align to number 28 date right or number 30 is also fine i'm yeah, not sure. worried when we are releasing rc1 but i'm more thinking about can ratify make that time? right it so so not it need not align with the same day, but uh, you know, uh, we want RC1 earlier so that we can test a lo lot more test cases. You know, we are testing only happy scenarios. I We have to go through exceptional scenarios. So that's where we are thinking about having the, uh, you know, that's where number 15th was, looks like that's a little bit tighter. So we can at least get it by 21st so that we have, uh, you know, all that exceptional scenarios and end-to-end -end test scenarios, more time for testing as well. So it will definitely come to end of November, but we need to definitely give more time for the testing and end-to-end uh, -end integration testings as well, all across multiple scenarios. So my only thing is by the time we kind of land by November 28th, can Ratify make it? That's the question. So 
So what I'm hearing is uh, if we have like a test build out by the week of November 21st, uh, but that is assumes both trust policy and consuming the refactoring for this one, right? So we're looking at like two to two and a half weeks to kind of get everything in. Right. That's where I was telling E and Shiva, we need to move out some scope, the nice to have to post RC2 and see if we can uh, conquer this together collaboratively. Okay. So what's well, that distribution looks like and yeah. how we can prioritize, right? Both the PR reviews as well as development. Okay. So if you want to track it tightly, then I'll sync up with Adi and Louis, who's the engineering manager for this one. Uh, yeah. tomorrow and maybe get back um, and yeah. I'll, I'll get back in the next meeting yeah hey e and uh, sajay i have a one more question uh ratify when i go and see the beta one board right it shows how much the completion is you have very good clarity on how things are moving towards the beta one or whatever release i don't see that in notation am i missing something i'm not that good at github but is there anything that we are missing in notation? I don't see that. I think it's the same set of folks who put to, put together. Maybe maybe the milestone is not reflecting that. Is that why? Yeah, something to be looked into. Ratifies manages one single giant project, so it's easy. Notation has Go, Core Go, yeah. and all these things together, so it makes it a little harder yeah. also. So yeah. um, I don't I don't know what the what the story is. Yi, do you know how the milestone looks like in notation? Yeah, I've not seen that that beauty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I I didn't uh, I didn't check the ratify project yet, but basically we use uh, the same board, right? Uh, as shared here, I think the ratify also use similar board because uh, I think it is David created this. Yeah, can you can you uh, maybe you can just uh, open the ratify thing and just compare if you want to like if you click on the milestone for beta one beta two. Uh, okay. Uh, it exactly shows how it's progressing the whole release itself. That's that's the beauty I saw. Like I love that. You uh, you mean here? Yeah. So you have thirty three percent complete. There's nine more items. That kind of a rough uh, feeling uh, you get, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that kind of. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we, I think we have similar, but the problem is that uh, we have three repos. And that's what. So if you if, if you click here, yeah, milestone. We also have this RC one. So fifty six complete. But we have a lot of hidden, uh, you know, issues that doesn't reflect our milestone. That's the problem. So the the progress is not fully right something we need to i'll take a look at all the issues and also the documentation right he was anything moving around that with david yeah we, need yeah, we, we still need the uh, need the need the more time for uh, for the execution part of the documentation but okay. there are already some some issue in the uh let me go back. We already have some issue under um, not re project depth this repo. So mm -hmm. if you, uh, from your side, if you have some resources, you, you can also start looking at some issues here. We already have some issue we needed to, to solve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Ravi, uh, this is uh, Toddy actually. So, uh, I am supposed to have a meeting with Ayman and Yi right now to uh, discuss uh, starting with the documentation, what will be the plan. So we will clean up those issues because they are issues that are pretty old in the documentation uh, repository. So mm -hmm. give us a couple more days and uh, we are working on a plan actually to improve the documentation as well as the website itself. Sure, Bobby. thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. So that's all um, I have. So. Yeah, meantime for documentation and websites, we also requested a resource, a designer resource from CNCF, and uh, we will have a meeting with CNCF uh, later, and uh, hopefully we can redesign the style, the, the style and uh, the overall, overall architecture uh, for 
notation for notary website. Okay. Well, that's nice. So was it the same uh, uh, place you went ahead? Uh, the other day you were showing some form or something, some request that you can submit to CNCF, right? Okay. Uh, which resource? I that that wouldn't tell us which resource, right? It was just a request that you just uh, kind of shared your screen the other day. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Th that that there is a service service desk portal that we can re request uh, a couple of uh, services from CNCF, and uh, they have some resources like uh, design, uh, technical docs, and uh, marketing. Yeah. Yeah, I will yeah. share that link to you folks. So it's not Nate, it's somebody else who's coming in to do this. I believe it's Nate. <laughs> yeah, Nate, uh, Nate is re responsible for this part. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, that's all I had, Lee, uh, and others. I think I had too much, but <laughs> I'm done. If anyone has anything, they can. Continue. Yeah. Samir, Rakesh, do you guys have anything to add? No, I think uh, I you covered everything, Rani. I think, uh, Sajay, you see us, we, we are pressing for some dates here. We were, we were working on November 15th assumption for some time. So it's causing some churn. So really want to get these dates out or, or, or the new dates fixed as soon as possible. Yeah, and I think uh, one thing I wanted to kind of quickly ask is, um, ratify cutting a release in the week of November 21st is something I, I don't think they might be comfortable, but at least getting a build out or uh, being able to validate it with uh, from the main branch is something that I think we can push for. And if things are good, then I'll follow up on what date the release can align with. Uh, and it should be relatively fast if notation cuts on RC we should be able to kind of absorb the RC build provided there's no major refactoring. That sounds good. Yeah. Let's <laughs> converge on it by tomorrow. Yeah, that what the date looks like. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we will meet uh, tomorrow the same time. Yeah, yeah. For the discussion, yeah. Uh, and, and by the way, Wani and uh, Samuel, uh, if you, uh, can take some time to work through the RC1 not done issues. We can also discuss tomorrow to see whether any issues we can uh, put post RC1. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and hey, thank you everyone and congratulations. We did the beta one release. You should also be very happy about it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah. Wendy. I think uh, kudos to Pradesh uh, to did uh, this uh, release yesterday. Uh, I think it is great work. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for all the support uh, and our discussions that goes on and on for every day. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thanks. Good night. Good day. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.